Hey guys, in this video we are going to do the Geometry Study Guide Part 1. So for this one we are going to find the shaded region. So we've got A and we've got B as a little part inside. So for A is the whole shape. So 14 times 7, which is 98. And then for B, the rectangle inside is 9 times 2, which is 18. Since we're taking that part out, it's going to be 98 minus 18, which gets us 80. And our units are centimeters squared. Okay, so for this one, it's going to be surface area. We've got A, B, A, B, C, C. So for A, it's going to be 11 times 5, which is 55, and then 55 times 2, which is 110. Then for B, it's going to be 6 times 11, which is 66. 66 times 2, because there's two of them. 132. And then for C, it's going to be 5 times 6, which is 30, times 2, which is 60. So we're going to add all those numbers together. And that gets me, so 110. 132 plus 60 gives me 302 centimeters squared. For this one, we're going to cut the shape up into triangles. Remember, the number of triangles is the same as the side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, that's one triangle, 5, 6. So it is going to be 5 times 2 divided by 2, which gets me 5 times six, because there's six of them. And then five times six gets me 30 inches squared. Don't forget to divide it by two, and we're multiplying it by six, because there's six triangles. For this one, we've got A and we've got B. For A is four times eight, oops. gets me 32. And then let's look at B. For B, the whole length across the top is 12. The left side is 8, so the leftover is 4. So it's going to be, for B, 4 times 4 divided by 2. 4 times 4 is 16, divided by 2 is 8. 32 plus 8 is 40 inches squared. So for this one, it was built with half inch cubes. So each one is one half. So one half plus one half is one and one half, which is also 1.5. Then go, the width is two. So, but e there's each one half plus one half is one. Then going up is one half plus one half plus one half plus one half is two. So for volume, it's 1.5 times 1 times 2. 1.5 times 2 gives me 3 inches cubed. Okay. For this next one, it's A is the base, and then our Bs are our triangles going all the way around. So for A, it's going to be 14 times 16.2 divided by 2, because it's a triangle. 14 times 16.2 is 226.8 divided by 2, gets me 113.4. Then for B, it's 14.5 times 16.2 divided by 2. divided by 2 gets me 117.45 times 3, because there's 3 of them, 352.35 plus 113.4 
gets me 465.75 meters squared. So for this one, we need to cut the triangle off on the end as well. And we're gonna have A, B, and C. And if you put the triangles together, that's fine. So for A, it's gonna be nine times eight, which gets me 72. And then for B, so we know that the height is eight, but we need to find the base. So we know that nine's in the middle. So 19 minus nine gets me 10, but split between the two sides gets me five on each side, okay? So then it's gonna be eight times five divided by two. Eight times five divided by two gets me 20. And then C is gonna be the same thing. Plus 20 plus 72 gets you 112 inches squared. Okay, here we go, next one. We can cut it off either direction. Um, I'm gonna cut it this way. Why not? So we've got A, we've got B. For A, it's gonna be five times 16, which is 80. Then for B, we know it's gonna be nine times something. So this whole length is 11. This part is five. So 11 minus five gives me six. So it's nine times six. Which gets me 54. 80 plus 54 gets me 134 inches squared. This one has an A, two B's, two C's. So for A, it's going to be six times eight. EZ 48. For B, it's going to be 8 times 14 divided by 2 times 2. 8 times 14 divided by 2 times 2 gets me 112. For C, it's going to be 12 times 6 divided by 2 times 2. Divided by 2 times 2 gets me 72 plus 112 plus 48 gets me 232 centimeters squared. Um, go ahead and look for part two.